In our modern world, it is rightly observed that an airplane is the closest thing we have to a time machine. And I have decided to take that journey back. With a new fleet of 787s, the nation's flag carrier, Ethiopian Airlines, flies directly from Manila to Addis Ababa three times weekly. 787s have everything new, from the control switch to the wide screens, nice seat setup, plugs for you to charge your computers. I'm beginning to like this airplane. Comfort and cheerful service are on top of the list for the Cloud9 business class cabin. One thing good about this new 787 seats is that it reclines really flat, just like a bed, which means I get to sleep properly. To reach the place where all of human history began at a mere fraction of a day is astounding. The pioneering airline has indeed opened Africa to the rest of the world. And it has done so with clear foresight and a passionate long-term vision. Ethiopian Airlines is celebrating 70 years in the industry. We're here in their hub in Addis Ababa to see how they have grown over the decades. By focusing on the growth of its maintenance and repair facilities, it has continued to provide excellent support for its own fleet, engines and components, and is also trusted by aircraft manufacturers. Of course, the airline also recognizes that its most important resource are its people, whom they have rightfully chosen to invest in. Ethiopian Airlines established one of the earliest aviation schools in the continent, training aircraft mechanics, pilots, cabin crew, and ground service personnel. Uh, as I told you earlier, we are a pioneer in mm -hmm. Africa, so we have to be the center of aviation. We have to be prepared well in advance, so we have to have such, such kind of facility. So this uh, building is mainly for cabin crew, marketing and leadership schools. So this is a full motion where trainees are trained regarding turbulence, fire, yes. cloud, and, and light. Cabin crew trainees are taught with the highest industry standards, with a great regard for customer service and safety. And you have, at present now, you have uh, students not only for Ethiopia or, or purely for Ethiopian Airlines now. Not only Ethiopians, we have uh, trainees from diff different parts of the world, especially from Africa. At the other end of the academy, I visited the Pilot Training School, an institution that has produced pilots for over 50 years. I sat in one of their theory courses, which I hear they get 920 hours of. I met William, one of the pilot trainees who comes from Rwanda. So William, what made you decide to study here in Ethiopia more than England, Australia, or America? Um, first of all, they have a good school. So what I, can, I think what I can get from Australia, from USA, they have it here. Yes. And what about cost? Is it much cheaper here? There is no big difference, except that uh, when you are here, you, you feel at home and you don't care about the cost, but... And that makes a lot of difference. Yeah, and the Ethiopians are good people, so what I care is to feel comfortable to getting what I need. William is only one of the young, aspiring aviators who will benefit from the well-equipped facilities of the Academy, which includes the latest simulators of their fleet. Captain Tibebutena is one of Ethiopian Airlines' highly experienced instructors now mentoring some students on the Q400. I always said that every time I took the simulators, the instructors were saddest. They give me a hard time and they're smiling as we go out, uh, taking a look at how difficult it was for us to save the airplane from crashing. So he's giving him again another system failure and we will see how sharp and observant these pilots will be. Although there was a lot of pressure, the student pilots showed their ability to handle whatever situation thrown at them. 
So it has all controls, whether it's weather, whether it's engine, and all the systems of the engine, whether it's autopilot, and he really gives him a tough time. It was great to be able to control all the elements at will, and of course, kind of torment the students on a daily basis. So how is teaching? You prefer to be in the flight line, or you enjoy the teaching as well? I like the teaching as well. Teaching is really it gives you a great experience. And also a sense of achievement when you are able to pass on the knowledge to these young kids. That gives you really a sense of pleasure. A visit to the Ethiopian Airlines headquarters makes one feel very optimistic about the aviation industry in Africa. And it's good to be led by this country known as the land of origins.